Hi everyone and welcome to Bilingual Story Time with Miss Colleen. Uh, hoy van a hablar un poquito en español y un poquito en inglés. Uh, hoy van a hablar libros sobre los animales. We are going to read books about animals today. So the first book that we are going to read is Hay una vaca entre las coles. There is a cow in the cabbages. Hay una vaca entre las coles for Claire Beaton. Hay una vaca entre las coles. Moo, moo, moo. There is a cow in the cabbages. Debe estar en la vaqueria. ¿Qué harías tú? He should not be out here. What is he doing? Hay una paloma en la vaqueria. Coo, coo, coo. There is a dove with the cows. What is the dove doing? Debe estar en la pajarera. ¿Qué harías tú? The dove is not where he should be either. What is he doing? Ah, uh, there are all the palomas. Hay una bujo en la pajarena. Ulu, ulu. There's an owl in the dove house. Debe estar en el granero. ¿Qué harías tú? What is the owl doing? He's supposed to be with the other owls. Oh, hay un caballo en el granero y un burrito del Peru. There is a caballo, a horse, y un burrito, a donkey. And they are both in the barn. Deben estar en el establo. ¿Qué harías tú? They are supposed to be in the stable. What are they doing? Hay un gallo en el establo. Ki, ki, ki. We have a rooster in the stable. What is he doing? Debe estar en el gallinero. ¿Qué harías tú? He's supposed to be in the hen house. What is the hen doing with the horses? Hay una cerdita en el granero. Con sus rosados cerditos. There is a pig in the hen house with all of his little piglets. Deben estar en el chiquero. ¿Qué harías tú al ratito? So all of the animals are escaping and they are not where they are supposed to be. Hay una oveja negra en el chiquero. Con ovejitas lanudas. There is a black sheep. What is the black sheep doing in the pig pen? Deben estar en el prado. ¿Qué harías tú sin duda? Avisales a estos animales que ya es hora de cenar y verás que pronto todos regresan a su lugar. All right, it is time to eat, and they are finally all back where they are supposed to be. The caballos are in el establo, the hens are in el gallinero, the cow is in his cow house, the owl is in his house, and the piglets are in the pig pen, and the sheep are in the prairie. Everyone is back where they are supposed to be. Okay, that was Ayuna Vaca Entre Las by Claire Beaton. So next, we are going to read Mango, Abuela, and Me. Esto libro es más en inglés de español. It's mostly in English. Pero hay unas palabras de español. So this is Mango, Abuela, and Me. She comes to us in winter, leaving behind her sunny house that rested between two snaking rivers. Her old place was too much for just one, Mommy tells me, as we make room in my dresser for her clothes. And too far away for us to help, Poppy adds. Abuela belongs with us now, Mia. But I still feel shy when I meet this far away grandmother. Pin Pan Poon. Poppy unfolds Abuela's bed and slides it right next to mine. You will get to know each other, he says. 
but when I show Abuela my new book, she can't unlock the English words. We can only look at the pictures and watch Edmund race on his wheel. Then just before we turn out the light, she pulls out two things tucked inside the satin pockets of her suitcase. A feather, una pluma, from a wild parrot that roosted in her mango trees, and a snapshot, una fotografia, of a young man with poppy smile. To abuelo, your grandfather, she says, climbing into bed. Snuggled in my pajamas, I smell flowers in her hair, sugar and cinnamon baked into her skin. That night, I dreamed of a red bird circling in the sky. The rest of the winter, while mommy and poppy are at work, Abuela waits for me to get home from school. Then we bundle up in thick socks and handmade sweaters to walk to the park and toss bread to the sparrows. My Espanol is not good enough to tell her the things an abuela should know, like how I'm the very best in art and how I can run as fast as all of the boys. So abuela speaks mostly Espanol, y su niña habla mostly inglés. And her English is too poquito. Abuela only speaks poquito inglés. To tell me all the stories I want to know about abuelo and the rivers that ran outside their door, with our mouths as empty as our bread baskets, we walk back home and watch TV. Abuela and I can't understand each other, I whisper to Mommy. Things will get better, Mommy says. Remember how it was with Kim? Kim is my best friend at school. When she was new, our whole class helped teach her English words. Now Miss Wilson sometimes has to say, please be quiet girls, others are working. After school, the next day, while Abuela, while Abuela and I are making meat pies for our snack, I pretend I am Miss Wilson. Do, I say, pointing to the ball. Abuela says, do, masa, and rolls it flat. Masa, I say. She drops a spoonful of meat in place. Carne, carne, I say, meat. Pasas, raisins, aceite, oil. Then I remember the word cards we taped in our classroom to help Kim. So while Abuela, uh, while, Abuela, while Abuela fries our empanadas, I put up cards too, until everything is covered, even Edmund. Soon we are playing Oye y Di, hear and say, all around the house. But that night, she still calls my pillow Apollo, and she says Edmund is a gangster. We'll keep practicing, I whisper. But the next day, I cannot practice with Abuela after all. Edmund has run out of his favorite seeds, so Mommy and I have to ride the bus downtown to buy more. Sometimes there are kittens sleeping in the pet shop window, but when we arrive this time, something even better is behind the glass. Look, I say, the window has become a jungle filled with birds, and right in the middle is a parrot staring at us with black bean eyes. I press my nose to the glass, thinking of the red feather Abuela gave me. Let's buy him, I tell Mommy. But Mia, you already have Edmund, Mommy says. Oh, not for me, I say. For Abuela, like the parrot that lived in her mango trees. He can keep her company when I'm at school. When we bring him home to Abuela, she says, un loro, a parrot. We name him Mango because his wings are green, orange, and gold like the fruit. During the day, Abuela teaches him how to give beaky kisses and bobs his head when she sings Los Pollitos to him. Buenas tardes, Mango, Abuela says, opening his cage door when I get home from school. Good afternoon, I say, and give him a seed. Soon, Mango calls to me before we even open his cage. Buenas tardes, he says when I open the door. Good afternoon. Abuela, Mango, and I practice new words every day. Mi Español gets faster, and Abuela and Mango learn the days of the week, all of the months of the year, and the names of the coins. How did he learn all that? Poppy asks when we show him all that Mango can do. Abuela winks at me and gives Mango a piece of banana, peel and all. Practice, she says. Before long, Abuela asked me how to say harder things, too so she can talk with the neighbors who stop by. Has the mailman come? 
It is chilly today. Can I get you some cookies and lemonade? Soon, when friends stop by to see Mango's latest tricks, they can understand everything Abuela says. But best of all, now when Abuela and I are lying next to each other in our beds, our mouths are full of things to say. I tell her about my buen dia and show her my best pintura of Mango. Abuela reads my favorite book with only a little help, and she tells me new stories about Abuelo, who could drive for river stones with a single breath and weave a roof out of palms. I draw pictures for her. She still misses her old house, she says, but now only a little bit. Mango listens to us from his perch until my eyes grow heavy. Hasta mañana, Abuela, I say. Abuela kisses me. Good night, Mia. Hasta mañana. Good night, Mango calls, and soon we all fall asleep. Okay, that was Mango, Abuela, and Me by Meg Medina. So this book was mostly an inglés. Y al final libro, La mayoría es en español. So this is Oso Panda, Oso Panda, Que ves ahí by Bill Martin. Oso panda, oso panda, que ves ahí? Veo un águila calva que se eleva sobre mí. Panda seeing an eagle who flies above him. Águila calva, águila calva, que ves ahí? Veo un carabo que embiste hacia mí. The eagle is seeing a bull below him. Carabo, carabo. Que ves ahí? Veo un mono araña que de saltos junto a mí. The bull is seeing a spider monkey. Mono araña, mono araña, que ves ahí? Veo un tortuga verde que nada lejos de mí. He's seeing a green turtle. So let's see the green turtle. Tortuga verde, tortuga verde, que ves ahí? Veo un pinguino macaroni que presume frente a mí. He's seeing a penguin in front of him. Pinguino macaroni, pinguino macaroni, que ves ahí? Veo un león marino que chapotea ante mí. Seeing a león, a lion, a sea lion. Leon marino, leon marino, que ves ahí? Veo un zorro rojo. Zorro rojo. What is that? It's a wolf. Zorro rojo. Zorro rojo. Que ves ahí? Veo un grulla blanca que vuela el torno a mí. Flies above him. Grulla blanca. Grulla blanca. Que ves ahí? Veo una pantera negra que ronda alrededor de mí. So who is the bird seeing? What is the bird seeing? <gasps> a black panther. Pantera negra, pantera negra. Que ves ahí? Veo un niño soñador que siempre cuida a mí. Seeing a niño soñador. Seeing the boy. Niño soñador, niño soñador. Que ves ahí? Veo. Ah, he's seeing all the animals, todos los animales. Un oso panda, a panda, a maño araña, a spider monkey, una tortuga verde, a green turtle, un zorro rojo, a red wolf, una grulla blanca, the white bird, un águila calva, the brown eagle, un carabao, the bull, un pinguino macarone, the penguin, emperor, emperor penguin, un león marino, a sea lion, y una pantera negra. Todos salvajes y libres. Eso es lo que yo vi. He sees all of the animals. Okay. So those were the three books, those tres libros, uh, sobre los animales. Y la biblioteca tiene muchos, muchos libros sobre los animales. 
Uh, we have many, many books about animals in English y en español. So if you would ever like to come check some out, we have a ton here. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you.